It seems just like last week I was sharing with you the new graph features in Obsidian and the two ways that they slightly changed the game for me. Here I am again because Obsidian has just released Obsidian Publish, which allows you to take your plain text files, hit a button, and immediately your ideas are on the web. And they're not just ideas on the web, they're your linked ideas. They have the same structure as Obsidian Offline. So again, this is like a subtle game changer. And in the following video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that. And at the very end, I'm going to show you how you can start right now doing this. So hey, join me in the following video. I'm going to walk through Obsidian Publish for the first time, and we're going to see the different ways that we can start to apply this cool feature. And at the very end of the video, I'm going to walk you through how you can activate this setting and start publishing your linked ideas right now. Hey, just in case you forgot, I'm Nick Milo with Linking Your Thinking, where we talk about the how and why of making meaningful notes. Let's dive in. Okay, so let's check this thing out. Uh, we start in the light kit, right? I'm going to publish all of this online. So what you do is you go to settings, account, excuse me, about, make sure, hey, version is 0.9.2 or higher and receive insider builds is activated. Then you go to plugin, scroll all the way to the bottom and publish. Let's toggle this thing on. So you probably saw this airplane note up here. Let's click on it. It loads. So I did this one other time. So I have this site, but let's look it out. If I wanted to change the site options, you click this button, the site name, let's call it light kit. Let's make the homepage file the start here file. Let's go with the light mode for now. Let's show navigation, why not? Let's show the graph. That all looks pretty good. So let's just go back. The next thing you can do is hit the switch site button. And then if you hit the edit site ID, this is part of the URL. So it's not the site name, but it's part of the URL is the site ID apparently. So let's just go light dash kit. It looks like we can only use letters, numbers, and dashes. So I like that. Let's cancel. And we're pretty good there. Click publish. It loads. I did have a change to timestamps. I don't care. Hey, this is exactly a good example. I want the change to populate. So that's all good. And boom, hit publish. All that your files will load. In this case, I only had one file that had an update to it. So only that thing is going to update. And what I did is I deleted it out of the light kit. And in the meantime, let's go check this link out. So click on that. And boom, here it is. This is the light kit online using Obsidian Publish. So pretty cool. We can zoom in on the graph. We have a table of content that's showing your headers. And then we can just kind of dive into different notes. So let's imagine we started on the home note. And this has a bunch of links to my main home maps. Let's just kind of dive into to, uh, concepts. So if we dig into concepts, then we can dig into something else. So then we could, and by the way, look at the table of contents, tons of nice headers we could dig into flow. And then we have uh, something I wrote, some ideas, it's a placeholder, we can see the links. So this is pretty cool, right? I mean, we put something online, it's here, other people can look at it, and all of a sudden, I'm able to do what Andy Matushak does. And you're able to do what Andy Matushak can do. Who's Andy? Let's check it out. Let's go and type in. So you've probably come across this at some point if you're into personal knowledge management, but Andy Matushak has his notes live here. And so if I click on, let's say, evergreen note writing, it opens up in a new sleeve, a panel, a pane, and then I can keep on clicking open new notes and reading these new notes. And then I can hit shift and then the scroll wheel kind of scroll back and forth. So that's pretty awesome, and it's been out for a while. Uh, I don't know when Andy started it, but I know it dates back into 2019. And uh, so now we can be that, we can do that. I mean, they won't be as polished and beautiful as Andy's notes, but it's a start. It's a start to get other people looking at your material. 
and so it could be very polished material, or you can be working with the garage door open. A good example of that, and an, an example of something you can do with Obsidian Publish, is to create a choose your own adventure sort of story. Uh, and a good example I have for that is the flow creation map of content. So this is something I created for some friends and family a couple years ago because I'm obsessed with flow, that, that concept by popularized by Mihai Chiksent Mihai. And uh, so what, what does this look like? This is the map of content. Let's start with flow map. And you, you know, you read this thing, you're kind of you're kind of um, ingesting it, digesting it. Um, there are a couple links you can click on. That's the choose your adventure. So let's just choose flow creation theory. And then that throws us into this note. We can read up on this note. I mean, I'm really amazed at how gorgeous this looks online. Um, then it gets to something that's the four factors of flow. And the whole idea around this flow creation uh, practical guide was that you kind of troubleshoot your issues. It's like, hey, why am I bouncing out of flow? Is it because uh, I don't have direction in my life? I don't have strong goals? Is it because I'm lacking the ability to focus? Um, is it a lack of enthusiasm? Is it a lack of energy? So in this case, it's, let's say, let's go with direction. It's a lack of direction, goals. And so it, it's kind of a way to troubleshoot problems and then uh, you can be prescriptive to your own needs. The whole point being is this is another use of Obsidian Publish where you can share something with you, your friends and family and say, hey, check this out. Or you just had a great conversation out in public somewhere or online, it doesn't matter. And you can say, hey, check out this link because, so this is pretty cool. Each note has its unique URL. I mean, right? So now you can share these on Twitter, through text message, whatever it is. Whenever you say to yourself in conversation, you say to somebody else, hey, that reminds me of something I wrote about. Boom, send them a link. So instead of sending a link outside to some random Amazon book, like this awesome book, Daring Greatly by Brene Brown, you can actually just link to content that you've already, you know, that you've already made these notes and then they can go on a wild ride. And it's not just some Amazon review, it's actually your thoughts with the material. So then that person comes back to you and the conversation that you have goes to a whole nother level because you're on the same wavelength talking about the same ideas and they challenge some of your thoughts and they agree with other thoughts. And I mean, that's a good way to go. And that's the power of linking your thinking and now we can share the, the, this linked network of thought with other people. So, I mean, I'm just super excited about the functionality involved with this, all these different notes that you can go to, concept expansion, click on that, that leads to other things. So pretty exciting, I would say. So as you can see, Obsidian Publish is super powerful and I wanna talk about how you can get started with it right now. Okay, just to recap and make sure I didn't miss anything, what can you do with Obsidian Publish? Why is this so cool? Now, if you're familiar with Andy Matushak, you can do the same thing he does. You can publish your notes online. Doesn't mean they're going to look as nice as his, but it's a start. And then you can share your ideas with others, get feedback, and it's really cool. I have to tell you, once it's your notes, it really feels different. So that's what I'm going to do with the light kit. At this point, it's been downloaded 4,200 plus times, but now with Obsidian Publish, I can just have a public file that you can look at and refer to at any time that you wanna look at a little bit more into, hey, how can we use maps of content? Also, you saw the sneak peek into how we can do a choose your adventure linked sort of journey. Um, I'm really excited to see where this avenue goes. There's a real art to it. Um, what I showed you wasn't much of an art with the flow creation, uh, choose your adventure, but what you can do, I'm excited for. Or if you're collaborating with other people, Obsidian Publish can be your online knowledge base. It can be the directory where you go to get all that information. Same thing if you do have clients that you're working with. That can be a place of documentation where you show everything that they need to know. It's so quick to edit, that's the real advantage here. 
So who is Obsidian Publish really for? I think we're going to find out, but my guess is it's for people that don't know how to program, who don't want to mess with websites. What they want to do is stay with the signal and not the noise. And what is the, what is the signal? That's writing. That's creating. That's linking. That's connecting ideas and sharing them with other people. So in my estimation, Obsidian Publish is really great because you don't have to worry about anything to do with Squarespace, with Wix, with WordPress, with all this HTML and these pages. You just worry with your offline Obsidian Vault. Then you select the files or the folder that you want to publish. You hit the button and boom, your ideas, your thoughts are out there. You make revisions, you make changes. Great. That's fine. Hit the button. Boom. Those changes are pushed online. And then after a few minutes, those, those revisions are out there. So it's, it's pretty wild. You might be wondering, but is it private? Hey, I'm not a programmer, I'm not a coder, but what I've heard reassures me that your notes are still private, they're still protected. And if you have any doubt at all, you take the notes that you want to publish online, which obviously aren't private if you wanna publish them online, and then you just move them to a separate vault. That's being triple safe. I'm not that concerned, so I'm just going to select the notes that I need to, uh, that are the light kit, and I can just hit publish on that. But the question of is it safe, the answers that I've heard reassure me, but because I'm not the most technical person, I can't explain them to you right now. So there'll be more information that comes out. And like I promised at the top of the video, I wanna share with you how you can start sharing your ideas with the world right now. Not just ideas, but your linked ideas, your linked thoughts. So what we do is we go to obsidian.md slash pricing, and that'll take us to this window. And what you want to do, if you're able to, and you want it right now, is support the team. I'm not a part of the team. I just think the team is amazing, and I love supporting them. I love what Obsidian has done for me. So if you, if you can, and you want to take advantage of Publish Now, then hit the Catalyst option, and it's just a one-time payment of $25. And then you can play around with this really, really cool feature. Now, long term, there, th this will be an add-on service. So Obsidian Publish will have a monthly cost to it. And this is how Obsidian, I mean, was, the question was like, how are they actually planning to make money? The app is always free. All these core functionalities are always free. So how are they making money? And Obsidian Publish is one of those ways. So instead of using Squarespace and, and paying whatever that amount is, instead of using Wix, same situation, the idea here is that you use Publish. And the beauty of this, this route is now you can use your notes, your linked notes in plain text, and use Publish and they look beautiful. So that's really the value proposition here. I think they're going to be quite successful. I'm looking forward to see how different people use publish because as, as I mentioned, I only have a couple ideas and it'll be very exciting to see where it goes. As for me, as I've mentioned, I'm a big Andy Matushak fan. So I'll be doing something similar with the light kit. It'll be public and it will be iterating, updating, and hopefully providing some, some ideas for everyone who visits it. Hey, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below. I just started recently and I've been overwhelmed by the response. There's obviously a demand for working with ideas, with linking our thinking, and I'm more than happy to keep these videos coming. Your support, your encouragement in the comments has been greatly, greatly appreciated. I hope you have found some value, and I'll see you in the next video.